Okay, for those people who don't remember Windows 8 or didn't ever had Windows 8, you used to be able to create subfolders in your Outlook, even the old Mail app. Um, it was uh, really nice. For example, if we go over here to this account, and if I wanted to create a, a folder, a subfolder, I would simply uh, go anywhere in this area over here. So then you would just right click, and this would area, this little menu would pop up, and you could create a folder down here. So we would just say, oh create folder and you just simply would name your folder right then and as soon as you did that you could it would say it was created you can go up here to your folders and there you'd see your folder and the same thing is you can click here and you could say right click and you would and you could or anywhere and you would simply say folders and you would say I could even do a subfolder okay and it tells you exactly where it's going to go and it says okay so if we check, we just go over here and go up there, and sure enough, there's our folder. Uh, then to remove them is just as easy. You just go down here to Manage Folders. Then when you come up here and you check, and sure enough, it would be gone. And you do the same thing with the other folder as well. So in Windows 8, it was very easy to create folders, and then you could drag and drop stuff into it to file it away. Well, for whatever reason, in Windows 10, Microsoft has taken away this ability. Now, it might be benign that it's just that something they hadn't implemented yet, or maybe they don't want this version of Outlook to be as, as good as the paid version. But for whatever reason, uh, you can go into here and create subfolders. Now, this only applies if you're using a IMAP account, and that's because IMAP synchronizes with the client software. All the emails, all the folders get synchronized. POP3, that doesn't happen. So it's not going to work with a POP3 account. So uh, if we go here and we try to right click, you see there's no options to create a folder. There's uh, nothing we can do here. Now in order to see the changes that we're going to do real time, we're going to change the way the, it syncs. So we're going to go over to account settings and right here where you click on that and you want to change the frequency. Uh, I have it set here for you want you to change it to and that's as things arrive. It's probably set for one of the other ones. So you do that and all your updates, will, your emails will come faster and uh, your synchronization changes will occur, will show up better. So how do we do that? Well, let's get to it. Let's open up an Edge browser or you know, an Explorer, whatever you're using, Google Chrome. And we're going to go over to Outlook and we're going to log into Outlook. That's where I'm at, if it's Gmail, Gmail, whatever account you're using for your uh, mail that you're looking at through the mail app, uh, you log in there with the same exact account. And once you do that, you can go into here and create your folders, at least here and how to do it in Outlook. So now that I do that, I can say test, create the folder, and sure enough, we have a new folder. Now if I want to do a subfolder, just right click on top of the, that folder and say create new folder, and I'm going to call, do one called subtest. So we will take a look at that. And everything seems fine. So let's go take a look at the Outlook client. And if we go here and we go up here and we say refresh. And let's go over and click on folders. Uh, let's finish refreshing. And look there. We have test and subtest right there for us to use in our client. Of course the reverse is true. If we go back into the web interface and we delete the folders. Of course, you want to make sure that you don't have any uh, emails underneath it uh, that you want to keep. So once you do that, you delete them from the web interface. You go back to your client, and eventually it'll sync up. It's already gotten rid of the subfolder. Let's uh, try it again, see if it does. Well, you can always go up here and to the top and say refresh. So we go up here to refresh and come back down here to folders and click on that and it's gone so everything's back to the way it was now hopefully this is just temporary and they'll put the functionality back in Outlook but for now you can go into your web interface uh, and make as many subfolders as you want uh, do whatever management you need to do there and then you can use it in your client uh, there on your desktop tablet or even your phone hey and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10 
and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10 and general how-to videos, all here to help you make the most out of your system.